Okay, so the uh, this next four minutes or whatever, it's going to be about reproducibility of computer searches and systematic reviews, as you see, and also checklist items used to assess computer search reports. What you see, uh, the goal is to uh, look at how checklist items uh, can be used uh, to support recording and then the assessment of computer search report information related to the reproducibility of computer searches that are used for systematic reviews. And then I'm gonna quickly try to go through what you see listed there, the importance of systematic reviews, reproducibility, evaluating results, and evaluating methodology, the difference between those and also make um, uh, some comments about a range of um, topics that you see listed there in four. And then also uh, touch, um, give a presentation, a little bit short example of what we've been doing here at Kent State to assess reporting. So uh, this is a graphic that's been, um, or there's uh, many of these that talk about the um, pyramid, of, pyramid of quality of evidence and systematic reviews have often been viewed as the top um, top of the pyramid. And then last year, everybody probably knows, uh, the um, National Academy of Sciences came out with a report on reproducibility, replicability, and science. And um, this is what it looked like. And what I found interesting was that chapter seven was on confidence in science. And in that chapter, there is uh, uh, quite a bit, or right up front, they talk about research synthesis. Um, as being something that addresses the central question of how the results of studies are relate to one another. And then systematic reviews are part of um, that, uh, that research process. <laughs> so systematic reviews, this is a commonly cited graphic showing what the systematic review process is. Um, after all the results are uh, synthesized, you know, of course you have your conclusions, but the question is, where did you get those resources and how did you do that search and is it reproducible? <laughs> I've been working, this article by Goodman and others um, discusses research re reproducibility and what I've been working with is what they call methods reproducibility. It refers to the provision of enough detail on procedures so that those same procedures could be uh, actually exactly repro reproduced. You want to evaluate methodology of course to be confident that the researchers use the methods that are expected for addressing that question and you want to evaluate the reporting of methods to be confident that the reported information is sufficient for evaluating the methods used. Of course, confidence in the reporting of methods uh, supports confidence you can have in the results of research presented. <clears throat> and then checklists can be used uh, to indicate what to look for. In 2009, uh, a major um, uh, tool came out. Uh, everybody probably knows about the PRISMA statement. In that statement, uh, they listed what they thought were items deemed essential for transparent reporting of a systematic review. These were the items that were included in the checklist. What we've been doing, what I've been doing for a couple of years is looking at these checklists and I kind of broke them out, uh, the checklist into two areas. One is extensive, uh, those checklists that involve extensive development and then below you see checklists that are, involve basic development. There's links in the PowerPoint to all of these in case you wanted to look at the actual checklists and their explanatory uh, documents. <laughs> In 2015, I was uh, looking at these checklists and I was trying to compare them and this, I apologize for the fuzziness, but back then I was looking to see uh, how many items focused on um, com comprehensiveness and how many uh, items focused on reproducibility. So these are the items that I've been looking at. Uh, Amstar <coughs> has been out there, but their objective was to assess the methodological quality as opposed to the reproducibility. Item four on the AMSTAR says, did the review authors use comprehensive literature search strategy? And that's um, not about uh, reproducibility. So <clears throat> here at Kent State, we um, put together what we thought was the overlap from a lot of the guidelines. And we came up with these, what I was calling a Prisma set of items. And all of these had to be um, reported sufficiently in order to be confident that maybe the uh, computer search was reproduce, reproducible. This is uh, a, um, a table from a paper that had uh, been submitted for uh, publication review. But item number four there indicates that um, 
shows which of these um, sets of uh, systematic reviews reported all four items. Down there at the bottom, a uh, set of uh, systematic reviews in APA journals in 2017, only three of 18 uh, reported all of these items, the information for all of these items. By the way, those were um, articles that had cited the PRISMA document as uh, guidance. And of course, if electronic search reproducibility is viewed as dependent on, this is what we said, uh, dependent on reporting is equivalent to what we call our PRISMA set, then to the extent that the samples we assessed represented reporting in psychology, these findings suggest readers would not have a strong basis for confidently assuming that the electronic searches were reproducible. So that's my quick report on uh, what we've um, been thinking in terms of items that can be used to evaluate the reporting of computer searches in uh, systematic reviews. Um, and I'll have information on this in the OSF site. Thank you.